Honorable Ichungwa and Honorable Wandai, you have been given the rare and unenviable privilege of leading this house. You must show leadership. It is not enough for the two of you to come and prostrate yourselves before the house and engage in unproductive lamentations. I want to encourage you, the two of you, the seven members from either side you nominated are your nominees. And you must guide them, you must show leadership, and you must lead. Because the country is looking at this house to sort out this issue. And I want also to encourage you, tell your co-chairs, I do not understand the logic of co-chairs sitting next to each other in a meeting, writing endless letters to each other. Call them to order and encourage them that they have been given a responsibility to discharge and they must discharge it. You know, talks of this nature are delicate. And therefore, they must be handled with uh, lots of care. So, Speaker, I am aware that uh, there have been bottlenecks on the path of these talks. But to cut the long story short, even as we speak, there is still some form of misunderstanding as to whether this committee requires a motion, a motion that is envisaged in your communication, or for it to acquire some life or legal uh, capacity.